Yo, what's up my fellow skill stackers? Today I wanna to talk about something that's really important to your business and that is the blood of your business, which is sales. How do you get leads coming in? How do you get more business coming in the door? And one of the tools that I use for my business that I depend on heavily, not just for myself, but for all my clients, is Google, right? You've probably heard this millions of times. We all use Google. Over 95% of internet searches are happening on Google. But where are the majority of those searches taking place within Google? The answer is Google Business Profiles or Google Maps specifically. It used to be called Google My Business, but now it's been changed to Google Business Profile. So I wanted to go through this real quick because this may be an area within your graphic design, web design, motion design business, or just your small business in general that you're not leveraging right now that you should be. Even if you're a freelancer, even if you're traveling around, even if you're remote, having a Google Business Profile is going to be a game changer for you. And I'll explain why. Over 70% of searches are happening for Google Maps. They're local searches. So that means 10 people go to Google to search for something, seven of those 10 people are looking for something local. If you do not have a position and a rank on Google Maps, you are missing 70% of the opportunity. 70%, that's a huge part of the marketplace. It's a huge opportunity that you're missing out. And so there are a number of things that you need to do in order to take advantage of this. The first thing and the first step is gonna be creating a Google business profile or claiming a Google business profile. If there's already a business, your business is already up on there that you didn't add it, and maybe somebody else added it for you, you need to claim that business, put your information in. This can take some time. And if you want, drop a comment down below. I'll make a step-by-step -step video of how to do that, how to claim or set up a Google business profile. But this is the first step. Once you've claimed your business profile, you're gonna to want to optimize your business profile because I guarantee the way that we optimize our business profiles for our clients is not the way that you currently have your setup. They have expanded the abilities on Google business profiles significantly. You can add in your services, you can add in prices, you can add in photos and images and videos. There's so much that you can do on a Google business profile now. It's practically like a social media profile. In fact, I'm gonna talk about this here in just a minute. You'll be able to do some things that are very similar to social media profiles. The third piece of this, and this is where I see the majority of creatives and just the more majority of business owners fail, is they don't ask for reviews, they don't get reviews, and then they don't even respond to the reviews that they got. You need to make sure that when you're getting reviews, you're responding to them. You need to make sure that you have a system in place that while you are working with your client, whether it's after the discovery meeting or after you do the first round of revisions or after you give them the completed, as quickly as you possibly can in the process of working with them, you need to ask them for a review. The general rule is for me is earlier in the process, the better. Ask them for their review and then respond to the review immediately. Immediately, if you don't have the time to handle this yourself, then outsource this to a company like myself or to a third party provider. But this is something you have to do in order to rank your Google business profile and to start to show up on the top rankings, which is where you wanna be, in the top three rankings on the Google Maps, because those are the first three people that are being shown, and then you have to hit more places to see the rest of the people. So getting in that top three map pack is gonna be crucial and getting reviews is the good way to do that. The fourth tip I have is inside of that content, when you add your services, you add the details, you add the images, you put all this stuff in there, you need to make sure that you're using keywords that are relevant to your business, logo design, branding, motion design, web design, landing page design, funnel design, brand identity design, corporate identity design, right? Whatever those keywords are, small business, carpet cleaning, whatever, whatever the keyword is, you need to focus on making sure that those keywords are scattered all throughout your listing, all throughout your profile, because this is what people are searching in Google. Make sure that they are terms that people are searching in Google. They're not just like underwater basket weaving. Like how many people search that on Google, right? Versus basket makers, right? So you wanna make sure that you're using relevant keywords that are actually gonna drive you traffic. The fifth tip that I have for you is you wanna actually use your Google business profile daily. Daily, that's a lot. You use social media daily. I guarantee you the majority of people that are watching this, especially if you're watching on YouTube, you're on social media, whether it's TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, one of those platforms, you're on a platform. Google business profile is no different. They wanna reward people for being on there. So if you consistently add value by putting posts there, by uploading images, by taking pictures with customers, by getting reviews, and being very active with your business profile, you are going to be rewarded for that. The people who don't show up on that top three, it's because they're not utilizing their profile to the fullest potential. They're not getting reviews. They don't have an automated review gathering system. None of that stuff is set up. So you need to use your Google business profile on a regular basis, use the posts, update your profile, do it at least three, four, five times a week, 
and even more if you can. You really can't hurt yourself by doing more than that. But I wanna encourage you to use the business profile on a regular basis and then watch over time as you start to increase. Now, I didn't add some things in here that I could have, I made some other points, but there are some technical SEO or search engine marketing things that you can do like citations and backlinks and some other stuff that we do technically that I don't have time for in this video. But my point of this video is I wanted to give you some applicable tools that you can use to create your Google business profile, claim your business profile, and then optimize it to get the most out of it as possible. Don't leave anything blank. Literally fill out everything that you can. The investment of time that you put into it is going to yield massive results. And you'll be thanking me in three, six, 12 months over a long period of time, over the time horizon, you're going to see a massive influx of business coming in. And eventually because it's organic, you won't be spending any time to manage it. It'll just keep bringing you business while you sleep. So this is a really good advantage, a really good strategy for, for my fellow creative skill stackers, small business owners, whoever you are, jump on this right away if you're not already. And let me know if you need any help. Just drop a comment down below. I'd be happy to help you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boysell. I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, keep looking up.